Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV. David here. January 1st, 2018. Happy New Year everybody. First day of the year and the old control room is gone. <laughs> One of the scariest, again, day ever. This is a big one. But yeah, uh, we are dismantling the room. We actually did already. You see the desk is empty, there are all the cables still to go, but uh, yeah, all the traps that I needed to put in the new control room have been taken off the walls here. And yes, this is the first day of the year because, and I'm working, yeah, here, because <laughs> uh, unfortunately I cannot spend it with my better half. Amaranta and what can a man do when his girl is not around work <laughs> So yeah, so guys, um, this is um, this is the new control room gone and You've already seen uh, In the previous episode the new control room almost finished So why don't we go downstairs and see where we at right now? Oh, by the way you can see here the gear sitting, waiting to be put back. Monitors, sub, and yeah, uh, let's, I hope I'm not going to lose anything in the process, like objects and, and all my, all my things. I try to somehow gather everything but yeah poor guy but yeah let's go downstairs and see where we at with the new control room and sorry guys if i speak funny i'm a bit cold and uh yeah so downstairs god is dark sorry here we go so there's still a mess, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are almost done, guys. So this is the front wall now. You can see, I mean, I, I still have to, wow, it's dark, sorry. I still have to secure those traps to the wall, but that's the front wall. Now, I haven't secured them yet because I'm not sure that I want all that trapping in my front wall. Uh, I will probably keep the one at the bottom and maybe I will put two, only two at the top and maybe a diffuser or a couple of diffusers up there. That's a test that I will have to do when I have my desk and my monitor in, but it's a minor thing. And then of course lights, I'm gonna put LEDs on the on the sides and yeah these are the traps for the side walls here again I have plenty I'm not sure I'm gonna put them all and the other side wall there and that's the back wall that we've seen in previous episodes and there are gonna be lights there too couch one couch here probably is going to, there's gonna be another couch here on the side but uh yeah uh I, li I like it i like that it's all blue and black the floor looks like shit, and i hate this color but um i i already got a uh, carpet and we'll cover that you know i got nice carpets all gray so they match with the you can see the ceiling and uh yeah then it's gonna be lights of course all the gear but that's really not uh that's not gonna take a long time uh, i don't have that much gear anymore and yeah cables are gonna be a pain in the ass and patch base but if i can manage to leave converters and patch bay patched and just bring the rack down here then all i have to do since that i have labels on all on all cables and I can bring the rack as is right here, just put it there. Yeah. Then 
I'll only have to basically bring the desk in and connect the hardware and the computer. That would be a lot less work than taking all the cables out from the converters and the patch base. But even if that's the case, it's gonna be like one day, uh, you know, a afternoon. So it's gonna be fine. Anyway, one thing that I need from you guys now is I need you to give me ideas for lights, what kind and placement, where to put them and, and what. Now, let me give you, if I can, an overview. So right now I have that rail there, one, two, and three. And this rail here, one, two, and three. What interests me is that area, of course, the desk is gonna be here. So I was thinking about putting, uh, since that is pretty dark, the room is all black and blue. So I want light. For these two corners, one and two, I was thinking two uh, standing floor lamps, either, again, paper or anyway, some diffuse light. And the same probably for the other side, for the back side, because here there's gonna be the um, couch. So I was thinking, yeah, something like that, but that's ugly as shit. So what I would need from you guys is if you can link me some cool light that you saw, either floor standing or light or LED, sorry, or anything, anything. Uh, I, please give me ideas because I suck ass uh, designing and lighting and aesthetic in general. I don't really have like visual arts and, and visual skills for designing things, but yeah. Let me, let me know what kind of light would you put and where. That would be very much appreciated because I know from here it has potential for, you know, turn out cool if the lighting is right, but I suck major ass <laughs> at designing stuff like that or planning stuff like that. I just don't have it in me. And, uh, yeah, Amaranta would have it, but she's not here, unfortunately. And we need to get this done, like, quickly, because I have to go back to work. But yeah, so what else? First day of the year. The new control room is almost finished. I'm very happy, very tired. And let me know, guys. Give me a hand with the lighting, and I'll keep you, of course, updated with the new room. And see you next time. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mixbus TV. David here. And I'm finally sitting on the couch of the new control room. And you can see we brought the desk and all pretty much everything is done. We got to put those traps there on the sides. Easy task. And uh, we got the carpets, as you can see. It's one, there's still a little bit of mess, of course, because you still have to put some things in order. This is the other carpet, which is going to go under the couch. That's the sad old couch that was in the old control room. For now, you know, we put that there, but uh, the new couch is coming. But for now, I just needed a place to sit and take a breath. Now, the only things of course is gonna be putting the gear back the racks with the converters and the additional gear are, are gonna go here on my left side because that's what i'm used to monitors screen computer and then then lights like i said in the previous clip um maybe let's around behind the desk i think and behind the racks but that's easy stuff it feels nice um i was used to the small space it served me well but i won't lie this this is nice to have space um it sounds great now wish me good luck for when I will reconnect everything. 
it's gonna be fun but it's gonna be the next couple of days so i'll keep you posted and see you next time hello everyone and welcome back to the new control room of mix by tv it's finally finished and all the gear is mounted monitors everything works i just finished testing and we need to clean up of course because there's still a little bit of a mess as you can see but uh yeah back wall and we still need lights this is it guys this is the new control room let me see if i can catch it all on camera but yeah very nice to have all the space how does it sound it sounds great it sounds great um, the only thing that I noticed right away when I started you know listening to the room is that my sub is small <laughs> um, I have a, a, a Adam a sub 8 let me show you just there which made sense in the old control room but it's fairly small here I can I can tell uh, I'm used to mixing with subs and now I'm I'm wondering if I'm considering getting either two so just another one another sub 8 um, or get a bigger one I like the idea of two and especially because my idea would be to elevate them and put them here on the sides of the speakers but um, I don't have experience with double subs setups I've always mixed with one sub so I don't know I will I will ask you guys uh, if some of you guys have experience like real experience with either one big sub uh, versus two let me know um, my feeling is the Adam sub 8 is not it's good <laughs> I don't know if I want to invest in two of them you know what I mean it's still a middle of the road sub so um yeah i'm not sure i might it might be a better idea to to get a a bigger one still adam probably because i like adam um but i don't know i don't know um suggestions guys please huh, help me out if you have any any uh experience with double sub or or a big mono but uh yeah that's the idea in in any case i'm gonna change it either i'll add another one or i'll give this one away i'll sell it and and get a bigger one but yeah welcome to the new mix bus tv control room and sorry guys today i'm exhausted because we mounted the side traps we did all the cabling um, I had to test everything everything works thanks God and this is it it was a long hard <laughs> work but it's totally worth it the room sounds amazing it's so very controlled um, as far as I can tell there's no there's no problem whatsoever I feel very familiar with how it sounds already um, there are no bass notes like even as we talked when I walk from the listening position back towards the couch you don't hear you know the low end going up so yeah and, uh, and the listening position is is where is actually everything is balanced I walked around the room playing you know the the my reference mixes and and i can tell it's it's fantastic uh yeah so so that's good um yeah the sub needs a little more muscle but 
you know, who doesn't? <laughs> so yeah, um, I need another skull at this point to put in the other monitor. So if some of you guys wants to send me one, I'll put it there. Or even, you know, let's do whole skull monitoring system and let's get another two for the big atom. But yeah, sorry. I'm just blabbering. I'm tired as shit. It's Sunday and I'm about to go home. And tomorrow, the first mixing day on the new control room. So I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, as usual, write it in the comment down below. Send us a message, anything, I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click the bell icon to get notification for the new videos. And a lot of new videos and new series are coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you for the support, guys. And see you next time.